everyone, welcome back to the Electric Supercar Channel. This week we're going to focus a lot on the rear. Going to get that last tail light working, do some other wiring, see if we can uh, mount the charge port, and keep going. So let's see what we can do. Okay, it wasn't too bad uh, getting these housings out. I got four screws that kind of come in from underneath. Uh, not the easiest, but again, uh, just five minutes, get those in and out. Um, so what I'm finding here is again, I just, this was kind of my, what I suspected, but I've just got these pins soldered like one off. So that's why I've got, uh, I could get the park lights working, but not the brake lights. So I'll desolder one pin and put the next one on. We'll go ahead and test. Alright, so before I reassemble, I'm going to go ahead and test uh, test my wiring again. Okay, looks like it's working, so I'll go ahead and put it back in. All right, got it all working. So that's a good one to start with. Um, I think since I'm back here, I will see about, um, again, I wanna put the charge port in, get some of these license plate lights on, backup camera in. So I think I'm gonna cut some access holes and figure out how to wanna mount things. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do license plate area because, so I got an old license plate here. So I could just bolt holes there. Again, this um, backup camera could bolt to it, but I think the whole thing is I want, my thought is I wanna get one of these license plates that can flip down and then underneath I wanna have the charge port. So I think that means that this license plate, everything is gonna be on that flip down thing. So I gotta find one of those. In the meantime though, I will try and mount this behind and I think what that means is this sticks out like a mile so I can't I shouldn't say I can't I don't want to just mount this face right here um, on this because this will stick out that much so I'm gonna get a little spacer made and uh, so this will be a little more flush I know it still has to have enough you know probably up to about right there that's how much I want out I'll, I'll mock something up and see see how it looks all right, so I've kind of got marked out here on the kind of where the license plate goes. I've got it kind of marked out for the uh, plug here. And so I'm just going to have it uh, kind of routed out so that this face can kind of just stick through and have enough room that I can kind of unlatch it here, have it come open. And then I also need kind of the four mounting points. So I've got kind of a place where the four mounting points go. And then I just have to kind of cut out Make sure I've got enough space for everything else. Okay, so I spent some time kind of uh, getting that just right. And uh, I'll probably switch out the fasteners like for some flat heads or something that looks a little nicer. But the thought is, is that just do that, plug in, Close it, and again, my thought is I'll get one of those license plates that can flip down, mount it here, and I think that'll do it. So next I'm gonna kind of see about cutting some uh, holes for the uh, license plate lights. All right, there we go with the uh, kind of the license plate lights. I think that'll work well. Just have some slots here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mount these. Again, I don't wanna go through the fiberglass with screws and things, so I'll probably just make some brackets real quick. Okay, so I made this uh, bracket. 
It's got a couple bends, a couple holes. My thought is, um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see back here, but. All right, so this one will go right here. It's just almost too dark to see, but I'll put uh, one of those um, fiberglass nuts, fiberglass it in here, and again, one on top. And then this middle one, that will be to hold the light. So I've got, I don't know if you can see that, but there's holes there. So that's gonna go right there, kinda like that. So fiberglass nut on the bottom, just uh, a nut and screw to go to the light, and then another fiberglass nut on top. So I need to make a couple more of these. All right, so I uh, made, made four of these. Um, got them pretty good looking. So I will go kind of probably hot glue them in place, figure out where I need to put the uh, fiberglass nuts, and then fiberglass them. Okay, so I got the uh, license plate lights mounted. Um, I think that'll work well. Try and show you here on the inside. So, got those brackets. God, I can't even point to it, but um, basically I put some uh, rib nuts in there. And on the other side, I've also got some kind of up underneath. But that's where those are. This one's mounted there. Next, I have to get one of those license plate holders that can flip down. Okay, so I also need to put one more hole in for the uh, backup camera. But again, I think I'm gonna wait for uh, the license plate. And that should be coming, I think, tomorrow. So we'll see how that works. All right, I'm trying to uh, kind of get the seam all straight. So I've got a, it's a little bit larger than it is there. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, grind it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to try and get everything flat and smooth and do some uh, filler. And this is all in preparation to kind of get the wing in place. I've discovered a trick. So I know there are like spreading tools, but if you wanted to use like some bigger things to kind of get a nice even plane, um, I've learned that you can uh, get some of these and just wrap them with tape. And then kind of before it hardens, you just take the tape off. And anyways, it works pretty well. Tip of the week. All right, this will be the first of many. Um, this is just trying to cover up the seam that we made. Um, this will be, this whole back panel tends to sit a little high. So I'm gonna fill, uh, I'll call it the sides here as well, just kind of get everything even so then I can just sand it all even. Um, while we're kind of drawing and things, I'm gonna start making up some brackets or supports for kind of the rear wing. All right, so uh, looking at mounting this wing, again, when I made the uh, deck lid come all the way to the back, it cannot mount on the sides. So uh, what I'm looking at is finding a way to mount it, but I'm gonna create a fiberglass, we'll call it strut, and I'm thinking about using this uh, as a kind of a form. So it's a little bit oval here in the middle, and it's, it's I don't know, a little more than half uh, across. So I think that should give it enough uh, stability and things, but it's also got some ribs and things that I think will help add some stiffness as well. And again, it's not very high, just, I don't know, what is that, like two inches, three inches, something like that. So I'm gonna give it a start. And again, this may be something we throw away, but I figure I'll give it a go. All right, I put a couple uh, screws in just to kind of make it a little more uniform oval. So again, that's my thought is I'll fiberglass around here and then I'll kind of cut and shape just this section kind of for the standoff for the wing. We'll see how it goes.
All right, uh, the first one I made kind of cut off the ends here just so you can kind of see, but uh, again, that's kind of what it looks like on the inside. Um, I'll contour this to the um, rear wing there and see what it looks like. But man, this is like a rock, like you cannot squeeze it. Um, so I think this will be plenty, plenty stiff enough. So I really wasn't trying to, but uh, the inside came out. And so it's got those nice ribs on the inside. We'll see, uh, we'll see what we can contour it to. So here's the other one, try and pull it out. I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but... There you go, one-handed. So again, the resin really doesn't stick to this plastic. All right, I got one of these flip license plates. Uh, I just need to make one modification. There we go. All right, I uh, got the license plate mounted. Again, the lights are kind of shining on the license plate, which is good. And then here's the uh, new feature. So you can flip this down and charge. And again, electric fuel only. All right, so I uh, got these kind of contoured to the bottom side of the wing. And now I'm gonna try and contour it to the deck lid. So the deck lid's fairly flat, but it does, um, I don't know if I can show you here, but the front, it has like a much smaller opening, so call it maybe like, I don't know, two knuckles. And the back is like a whole finger. So it does kind of slope back. So I'll try and get this, um, I think what I'll do is I'll try and get that angle right and put it underneath here and I'll probably leave it just a little bit tall so it can kind of be up and I can just keep grinding it until it's the right spot. All right, so it's still sitting up a little bit high, but this is uh, kind of the whittling process. So I've kind of marked, I think, where I want them to be, kind of in the center of the wing, kind of front to back. Again, it'll be facing forward, and then just uh, kind of towards either, either end of the trunk lid. And so, as you can see here, we're pretty good, but again, the back's up just a tiny bit, and we're looking also up here, just trying to sand so we can get no gaps. Kind of the same thing here. So again, a little gap here and a little gap up there. So I'll continue to kind of sand and sculpt but we're getting close. All right, so this is getting pretty close to what it looks like. Again, the wing needs to be lowered just a titch, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on the car, make sure the wing, we got it wired right. I'll step on the brake and uh, see where we go. All right, we've got everything uh, wired up, rear wing in place. We're gonna go ahead and give it a test. There we go. All right, I will continue to whittle away, but uh, time is rapidly running out. So I think this is probably where we'll leave it for this week. So if you guys have some good suggestions about how to mount the wing, um, hinges, things like that, that's probably what we'll work on next week. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this week. See you next week.